Australians are obsessed with solar. It is an absolute phenomenon. We've gone from 0.2% of households in 2007 to 20% now, and that's 2.6 million households. In Darwin, installations were encouraged by subsidies and very generous payments for power sent to the network. You were using the grid to store the excess energy that your solar was producing, so there was no physical need to have the batteries in at the time. But the regulator believes the massive uptake of solar across the country is an issue. All of that power coming in at the same time in the middle of the day for an electricity network that was set up to get power to your house is causing problems. And we like to refer to it as traffic jams or congestions. The Northern Territory has now slashed the amount of money that households receive for power, known as the feed-in tariff, and offered subsidies for technology that's being installed under these rooftops. Okay, battery, battery standard battery port. The homeowner got solar panels along with a battery, allowing him to store all the electricity he generates. At the end of the day, that's, that's why I've got the battery now, um, and hopefully that'll prove to be just as good as having that feed-in tariff. The challenge at the moment is that we've got more solar than demand during the limited uh, generation period in the middle of the day. So if you're able to store your energy, then you can use it at night time yourself. Five years after the first Tesla system went into an Australian home, battery sales are growing. 31,000 were installed last year. There are now 110,000 households with batteries, but that's still less than 5% of all homes with solar panels. The data shows that it's mostly new solar systems that are getting batteries. The question is, how do you encourage the millions of people already with solar to invest in storage too? For some families, cost is still a barrier. I would like it to last a long time for the amount of money that it's going to cost me because if, if I weighed that up against whatever electricity cost coming off the grid and it was more expensive, then that's not really worth it for me. Battery prices haven't fallen so significantly as people might have hoped for and so therefore we're seeing almost a steady market. Subsidies seen in the Territory are ramping up nationally and feed-in tariffs continue to fall. The industry says it's now at a tipping point. What I suspect we'll see is a removal or a reduction of those feed-in tariffs over time and we're about to see tariff repricing nationally in, in July. It'll be interesting to see what people do. The regulator is even considering penalising homes that export power to the grid when the market doesn't want it. I think it will definitely drive battery uptake because it's basically lost revenue for those solar homes and the only way that they can really capture that revenue is by having a battery. While Warwick Johnston has solar panels and a battery on his home, he's still wary of calling a boom just yet. But uh, I see that there's a big future both for the solar industry and for the home energy storage as well. Those who've invested are happy. I think the batteries are the way of the future, really. Charging ahead with a renewable revolution.